guys welcome back today we're going to be making a desk and I've started by cutting out all the little pieces here the size and measured it against the book nook of um, how big I wanted it and I used this paper to to measure the size and then I, I transferred it to two pieces of wood which will be the top and the bottom of the drawer uh, I've got the drawers and the piece that the drawers will sit on because I'm not going to have the drawers open in this particular one and I've got the side pieces there I've also got the legs on the side here cut out so I'm just going to put all that together and then I'll make uh, the other side the the back side and the shelf afterwards To make sure that you really are leveling everything off um, I've, I've condensed down the video so that it's easier to watch but you know bear in mind that in between I am leveling things and making sure that they're all even and straight otherwise you're going to end up with a very wonky piece of furniture I mean unless you actually want a wonky you know piece of furniture if you're making like a crooked house or something then uh, you know by all means go for it but um, you know, it's it's really important to uh, to make sure everything's level. So I've cut a piece out which is going to be at like a back panel and it will go on the back of the drawers like that and then there's a shelf which I'll put here and these side panels will just sit on top of the desk here just to hold the shelf in place. <clears throat> so I'm just going to glue that all together now and then I'll show you how that looks. And here it is all glued together and I'm just going to wait for that to dry before I start shaping it. I've now glued on the legs and just given it a general little sand down. Um, I think it still needs a little bit of extra sanding and just sorting out but I'm pretty happy with the general proportions and I think it's ready to paint. I also made this little um, photo frame here <laughs> with just a piece of small piece of wood and um, I've just stuck some cardboard on it and I just need to find a photo or a little picture of someone to put in it so it looks like a family member or family members um, 
And yeah, I might just give that a coat of paint. So I'm gonna paint my, I won't paint the photo frame just yet. I'm gonna paint the actual desk. Um, and then I'm gonna patch up any areas that need patching up. But uh, what I'm going to do is just give it a lick of paint. So just to start things off. And I've decided on mixing two colours here. I've got this um, yellow ochre, I think it's called, which is, if I can show you, this colour, yellow ochre, and burnt sienna. So I'm going to try giving these two a go with my brush. And let's see what I can come up with colour wise. I mean, that's quite a nice. I want it quite watered down because I want it to be quite quite thin. I don't want it to be too thick. So put a bit more water on that. There we go, let's try that. Let's see if we like it. Hmm, that's quite oh, sorry, what that's quite a nice colour. I think I'll go with that colour. So I'm just going to finish painting this and then I'll show you how it looks. I'm using two more of these little jewellery findings for the handles for my little drawers. And um, I've gone for more of a coppery sort of colour instead of a silver for that. And I've got this little bead which um, it's like a plastic sort of cone shaped bead and I thought it looked like a little cup so I'm going to use that as a pen holder for my desk and I'm also going to use these little um, toothpicks for the pens or pencils um, and I'm just going to cut them a bit shorter because they are a bit long but um, yeah and just give them a bit of a paint just so that they look a bit more pen like and pencil like from this close up I need a little pack of post-it notes here and um, all I used was an actual post-it note and I've just doubled it and cut it in half and then um, yeah just cut tiny little squares and just laid them up and glued them together. And I've made a little tray here, which will be like a little um, stationary tray that will go on the desk. And then I'll be gluing my little post-it notes on the side there. I might just see if I can make something that will go next to it there and that will look nice on the desk. A few other things I've made are a little pen using um, a little bit of cocktail stick like that and just putting a bit of paint on it and a sticker and a little bead you might not be able to see a very tiny bead showing the crumb actually see it very well but there is a little bead on the end there you go, look. On the end of the pen. Make it look more like a pen. And then I've made a little um, stapler with cardboard and foil. I've also got a little, sort of a little jar thing to put little bits and pieces in for the, to put on the desk. And obviously everybody needs a cup of tea at the table, at their desk, don't they? So I've got my little cup there as well. Right, moving on to the chair. I've drilled, sort of half drilled a little hole into the middle of this um, sort of shape which I've made for the seat of the chair. And that's going to support the stalk of the, um, the, the chair, the central sort of stalk. So uh, I'm going to glue that in now as well. In 
in order to create the base of the chair, I've just used these matchsticks and I've just put on um, a little end cap using one of those um, jewellery findings on each one, so half of a jewellery finding. And that will go through these beads which I've just coated in black marker pen and I'll give them a, a good paint over afterwards. Um, so they will act as the, the wheels. And also we've got this thing which I managed to pick up from a hardware store. I'm not really sure what they are. <laughs> They're some sort of plugs um, to cover up screws, I think. I think that's what it is. Um, if you want to hide screws or something. And I thought they would be that would make a good sort of central piece for the for the chair, the base of the chair, sorry. So I'm going to remove this bit um, and just use that bit for the chair to sit on like this. I've just cut three slots into the little round piece, the, the little plug thing that I'd found and I'm using these matchsticks just as a measurement to um, help me work out where I want the, uh, the spools of the chair. I've also glued on one of those circle um, sort of plug things over the uh, base of the chair as well just to give it a bit more support. I'm going to use blue tack to just plug in that little um, base with the spools just so that it holds those spools in place and also it stops them wobbling about because they're not very sturdy on their own. So I thought a bit of blue tack will fill the gaps and I can glue it in. Chair's starting to come together now so I've just glued everything together and I'm just waiting for that to dry before I add the wheels and the seat cover. chair a bit of paint just to give it a coat of paint and um, I've just got some scrap fabric which I'll be using to make the seat covers. Um, I have just gone round and made a, uh, like a cardboard cutout of the chair um, which is slightly smaller than the actual sort of shape just so that the, the uh, the cushion part will sit a little bit smaller than the actual chair and I'm going to use a cotton wool sort of section cut into half because it's already nice and flat and uh, I don't need more than that to add a cushion to the seat so I'll just be cutting that up now so I've covered them with cotton wool nice and thin without being too thick and I'm now going to wrap the um, fabric carefully over it so I'll turn those upside down and then I'll be gluing them down okay so I've covered the little seat covers that's the back that's the front and I will now glue it onto my little oops, onto my little chair and uh, Hopefully it fits nicely.
Here's my little chair. I'm quite happy with it. I just need to go over the wheels again with the black paint. But apart from that, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Also made a little notice board and I've used little sticky um, gems to act as pins on the on the board and yeah. try to make it a bit 3D so I don't like it all stuck down flat and I know some people do prefer it all stuck down but I want it to look like it's pinned to the board rather than stuck down so that will go above the desk and that was just using matchsticks like these just going around a piece of cardboard which looked like cork board and that was fine I was quite happy with how that turned out uh, I've also I'm in the process of making a little plant so I've got a nice little bead here and I'm just using blue tack to hold it still um, and I'm going to paint the top to act like a plant and then just paint around the top bit to look like soil, which I'll do in a minute. Bear with me, if we can get that to stick down, I'll just have to leave it on there for a minute. I also had this little bit of, excuse my fingers, they're covered in paint. <laughs> had this little end piece of a pen, which will act as another pot of, um, pot for pens. And I have got a little um, little calendar here, but I'm not sure what to do with that yet. Either I'm going to chop it up or I'm going to stick it on the wall, I'm not sure. So let's see. I also made a little waste paper bin using a drink lid and also, you know, the wrapper that comes off um, garlic, but yeah, after a good wash. <laughs> I've even put a bit of rubbish in the bin just to make it look more authentic. I also decided to make a little seat cover for my little window seat, um, which I didn't do before, so I'm just doing that now as well. And I think that's it. Uh, once I've done that, then we'll see how it all turns out. We've got the desk in place and I'm really quite happy with how it's turning out. I'm coming closer to finishing off the top floor and I just want to add some finishing touches. So next time we will hopefully be working on the staircase and I will see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Baby, you give me